Hey guys, Logan. We're up to season six, episode 16 of Criminal Minds. This amazing, awesome journey of Criminal Minds that we are continuing on. You can get these videos early on simplereactions.com. Patreon.com slash simplereactions. Uh, we are opening up more Patreon spots in the near future. Uh, as of y'all watching this video on YouTube, it is already opened up if you would like to join things early. We are probably on about what? Season nine? Just to give or take, you know, we're probably on season nine, maybe halfway through season nine, maybe almost on season ten by the time you're watching this video. So, uh, if you would like to get videos up to that, you can uh, get my un. Um, ho I, I don't hold back. I give you my opinions, my 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 thoughts that immediately come to my head as I'm watching this. Uh, that you know, some of those thoughts piss people off, and they they anger people, and they get people yelling at me for all sorts of reasons. Like if I say something one way, but I don't mean it that way, but people get mad at me because they think I mean it that way. Like you can get it all early, or you can get it whenever you want to get it. It's it's up to you. It's up to you. It's your choice. Do you enjoy? The things that come out of my mouth that anger people, a lot of people do. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not trying to piss people off. But <laughs> here I am. Um, season 6, episode 16 of Criminal Minds. Love this show. Love the conversations that have been had with this show. Which, honestly, I never expected to happen. But, yeah. Um, I, I, I very much appreciate the conversations. Uh, even, even the few people who have yelled at me. Most of the time I don't really understand why you're yelling at me, but that's fine. It's past the point. I still, you know, it, it gives me entertainment, at least. I like blocking people. But, hey, <laughs> here we are. Season 6, episode 16, Criminal Minds. Let's let, let the chaos continue. Here we go. <laughs> This is such a beautiful and great moment, but you know, stuff like that doesn't happen on this show, so I'm, I'm sketched. I don't like this. There's gonna be like an explosion or something. I miss JJ. <laughs> but I, appre I appreciate her. I like her. She's very likable. I still miss JJ. Oh. I told you, I told you, I told you, shit like this doesn't happen on this show, my god. Dude was just playing, kid was just playing the piano when someone blew someone's brains out next to him, come on. That's what happens with this show. Under the car, make sure there's no explosives. Yeah, see? Oh my god, you're paranoid. going to school the next day? Oh my god. Get that kid out of there. Klaus is dead. Well, that's fine with marrying a member from your own team. One of you is a target, so is the other. I get it. Hello, darling. Brett, let's make this quick. I took a late lunch. But how many times do I have to tell you? I'm not quick about anything. 
<laughs> I like that guy. I don't know. He's a great like actor. At that time, I blew my cover in Prague. You took out that sentry before I could even draw my weapon. Saved my ass, Clyde. I'm surprised you remember the little people from your Interpol days, not that you're right. I know what you're thinking. Absolutely not. Your team isn't under oath. They don't have clearance. They could help. Oh, come on, they don't have clearance. We don't even know where Doyle is. Involving them at this point would be premature. And reckless. Leave it to Sienna. You go be with your team. Even in hiding, Doyle can't resist extravagance. That's Trapping annoying. Oh, we'll find him, Tony. Trust me. I don't trust anyone anymore. I was waiting to see him. I was because I saw his picture and I was like, oh, oh he's gonna okay. make an appearance. Ten-year-old Sammy Sparks of Lafayette Parish, Louisiana, showed up at his elementary school this morning covered in blood. When police got to his house, they found that his parents, Charlie and Allison Sparks, were missing. But there's been no communication whatsoever. Then why call him the BAU? New Orleans is hoping we can interview Sammy. No one's talked to the witness yet. I don't understand. If Sammy was covered with blood, there's a good chance he could identify the ensign. Sammy's autistic. Oh. What happened isn't gonna be easy. Oh no! That day. See, I was over here thinking his his like his dad was bringing people over and blowing their brains out or something. And I'm just playing the piano, Dad. Tomorrow, you promise yourself will be different. Yet tomorrow is too often a repetition of today, author James T. McKay. Is that the one where they fly around in the phone booth? First of all, it's a, it's a police box, not a phone booth. Second of all, Doctor Who started a quarter of a century before Bill and Ted even went on their bodacious adventure, so really they should have just called it Bill and Ted's Excellent Ripoff. I mean, at least then they would have I'm really sorry. For what? Asking. Yeah, well, if that's the case, they are barking up the wrong money tree. The family runs a music store that's been sparks owned since the 1940s, but business is down and alone against the house. It's the only thing keeping that store afloat. Oh, dude, why? The old sub should have done his research. Well, he may have. This area was devastated by the oil spill. A little bit of money would go a long way here. Yeah, but I don't get why they're... It'll be answered. Oh, we're back in Louisiana. Not a fan of that state either. First what state are you a fan of? I know, I know, I know. He didn't steal a single expensive item from either one of these rooms. He definitely came for the parents. Texas. Great state. No sign of forced entry. The sparks most likely recognized him on Tennessee. Unless the door was unlocked. I don't know how they got that. Look at the blood pattern. Opens it only to find a gun aimed at her face. So she screams. That brings Charlie running down the stairs trying to help, but the unsub shoots Charlie because he won't back off. Charlie's severely wounded. Why does the unsub take the time to drag him out of the house yeah, knowing he's leaving a 10-year-old witness home alone? The unsub must have known the family well enough to realize that Sammy would never be capable of IDing him. That's... yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! You scared me. Fuck. Don't touch Some autistic him. children don't handle the touch well. <laughs> Garcia. Yes, I don't get that. That's a triangle. A list of all right? known associates but it's not, it's a family. It's like that. Focusing on everyone whose first or last name begins with the letter L. It's not me, I'll tell you that. My name starts with an L, but I didn't do shit. I am innocent. Well, it looks like they were open to alternative methods of payment. These guys like to scout their targets prior to abduction. They get off on the fact the victims never see them coming. Yeah, There's but when they, they don't teach us wait, wait, but when they experience, you'd have to know the family see, well see, enough. Yeah. Well, the kid definitely likes to draw, but can't quite figure out what it is he's drawing. It's a dog. <laughs> I was gonna say it's a Pokemon. You know that that looks like a dog. I don't know. Maybe a dad knows. Chloe, you're not teaching me enough because I didn't know. You do from occupational therapy because they're soft. Those things are expensive too. That's a favorite. I want to bring it to him. Maybe we should get this to read. Good idea. Be able to use it to connect with Sammy. 
Look, look at me go. These drawings. <laughs> this must be Six Sammy's seasons test. of this shit, man. I got, I'm, I'm locked in. Out of their way to accommodate Sammy's condition. He must have come here after school every day. You know, his parents most likely kept him on a strict daily schedule. Oh, like clockwork. That's how Sammy was able to walk from his house to school yesterday. He had memorized the route. Yeah, seven forty-five. time, time, time to, to go, go to school. He doesn't think yeah. to wait for his mom or dad. He simply yeah. grabs an empty lunchbox and heads here. If Sammy was living on a strict routine, that means Charlie and Allison were too. Mm -hmm. Which would have only made them easier targets. Because you know what was going to happen next. I'm not sure how we're going to get through to him. Sammy's teacher says he's never going to return be. his own mother's hug. Go Sheriff, was it common knowledge that the Sparks had gotten this loan? Well, I knew. A loan around here is like winning the lottery. So why no ransom note? Maybe the Edson thinks he can get the money directly from the source. Yeah, well, hold you the... You think he'll use one of the parents' leverage to get the other to clear out their account? He's already shot Charlie. What, what kind of loan is this? This can't be some massive-ass loan. I, I think he just did. What have you got? I froze the Sparks' assets earlier today, but someone at the Bayside branch one parish over just managed to withdraw $10,000 from a joint savings account. Call the branch. If they're still there, don't... They're doing this for $10,000? If the unsub has what he's after, Sammy's parents just became expendable. $10,000 is not that much. Are you two the, the, the shits? I couldn't get you everything. How much you get? 10000 What? Please, I need to get back to Sammy. God knows where he is right now. Can't do that, Ellie. That's his and, wife. And Charlie, Charlie's hurt. He needs a the wife. No, what he needs is a wife who pays better attention. I'll never tell you what Charlie is if you don't get my money. You said that if I got you. Shut up! Well, we're gonna sit here with Charlie bleeds to death. This guy seems and you really, know, really so stupid. Okay, how much did she want? Well, she wanted to close out her account, but I told her I wouldn't be able to give her everything today. We can't afford it. How much is everything? Um, yeah, how much is everything? $42,176.41. And the bank does not have that on site? Not anymore. Mrs. Sparks isn't the first customer to consider closing her accounts. Could we take a look at the security footage you have, sure? This dude's doing this for $42,000? Did she tell you what the money was for? She just asked for what she could get and she left. The unsub is probably holding Charlie at a secondary location. Which means he might still be alive. Get shot. Oh, was it the side or the arm? Oh, oh the arm would be better. The side, uh, head and nothing hits. I even ran the number 50 in case Sammy has some sort of predilection to Roman numerals. Came up dry. Elizabeth, the L could stand for Lizard Lizzie. Garcia, we need to find her in fast. I will move so fast the earth will reverse its rotation and time bend backwards. Hello. <laughs> this unsub has the money he needs. Why hasn't he let the sparks go? He has to be holding him for a reason. We might have an answer to that. He wants the money. He wants more money. Forty thousand dollars from the branch in Bayside, but she only got ten thousand. So maybe he's holding him until he gets the money mm -hmm. he needs. I think it's more than that. I think he wants a specific amount. Anyone with a financial responsibility for others. That responsibility is probably what drove the young sub into action. Now he had no intention of hurting either of his victims. This Brandy looks like the guy from The Walking Dead, but I don't think it is. Unfortunate, but necessary means to an end. This area has been ravaged by last summer's oil spill. So look for down and out fishermen. Look for boat owners, or anyone who used to work in the tourist and beach industries. And compare that list to people working part-time or under-the-table jobs. Yikes. They said such didn't start Maybe it is. I don't know. Push there. This man feels such a strong obligation to his dependents that he's willing to kidnap and steal from people he knows. Oh, man. Ah! I hate Sammy that. For? I have no idea. Sammy? Sammy, you're safe. It's me, Miss Rogers. Ah, I'm, I hate here. The I'm here. Port. Sammy, you're that, safe. Mm. Sammy. I, I'm I'm Sammy. It bothers me when kids are impacted by things. It's just because, like, you know, there's the most vulnerable among so. us. You know? He's trying to play something. I, I don't I don't fuck around with stuff like there's that. There's a piano in his house. You want to take a 10 year old boy back to the crime scene where his father was? It's shot? a routine. Sammy's though. trying to tell us something. I think it's he wants, important. We try to figure yeah. out what. He's a child, and I don't think you get it. No, no, I get that. No, I get it. I get Everyone, that. this is Lizzie Sparks. Sammy's on. Yeah, he 
he's definitely a dumbass. He left a freaking. He left okay? something. Lizzie, is it? For all we know, she's the Ellie Supremo. If Sammy saw his aunt and didn't even react, if she was the abductor, we would have seen a visceral response. You can't be sure of that. He's in shock. We are running a background check right now. On me? It's just procedure. But you have to decide. You realize we're you FBI. Behavioral Analysis Unit. I'm sorry, Allie. I never meant to hurt Charlie. He's a fisherman. Why didn't you just ask us for the money? I gotta tie you up first. What? I'm gonna get my boys. I'm gonna go across the state line, and then I'll call 911 and I'll tell them where you and Charlie are. I can are. so get you yep, for false imprisonment. Charlie doesn't have that kind of time. He needs a doctor. It'll be fine, I promise. It's gonna be so minor, but I can get you for it. Charlie? Charlie! Charlie! Sucks, dude. That's a murder charge. Mm. Mm. We should call Garcia and have her run those numbers against the mission composite local residents in foreclosure. See if anything matches up. Okay, I'll call it. Do you know how massive that is? That's an like as far as that, like breaking in and shooting oh, somebody? Looks like it was used as a weapon. Yeah. yeah that's the last try guy. That's that's an See, that's a like eight plus added yeah. year sentence. It's an old fisherman's trick. Because he died. You can use the crowbar to hook crab traps and shrimp catches out at sea. Sammy. How about you play this note for yes and this note for no. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Now, Sammy, do you remember when the man came and took your parents away? Nothing suspicious. Her story checks out. I know. Do not shoot the messenger. Just tell me how to narrow it down. Do all 127 have children? We got it. Yeah, no, it's got to be some. Do. Okay. Versus other debt that might not put them out onto the streets. Mm. Oh, you are very good. 24. We're officially down to 24. Send okay. <laughs> At cybertastic speeds, my sweets. We gotta narrow it down even further, though. Jesus. <laughs> Everything all right. spasmed. I'm a stranger in my own brother's house. My nephew didn't <coughs> recognize me. Do you mind my asking what the fight was about? I was the one who suspected Sammy had autism. Charlie couldn't see it. He was so upset, he kicked me out. How did you know? He was different. So I did some research. Charlie was blind to it. He refused to accept what I found. Wow, and they never brought you back after they, they found out? Afraid. There was a fear. Your father would be. Learning his child isn't going to have it as easy as he did. You sound like you talk from experience. Interesting. What? what? Sammy sees his life in pictures. He's been trying to speak with us, but he knows how to communicate through symbols. Look, it's his language. Anchors, like my socks. Foot. And that's the tread on your shoes. 
I don't know what that is. It's not an L. It's a time. But three o'clock, the, the time Sammy wants us to know about, the time that he met the unsub. Where was he at three o'clock? Well, 2.30, music store. He goes there every day after school. But he, he must walk until the store closes at six. Hey, Sammy. Sammy, it's almost three o'clock. Is there some place you should be? Where's the store? No, no, let him go. Touch. I think we've got some. Hell yeah. Wait a minute. Here's when Sammy gets to the store. They changed the music. Why would they do that? It's for Sammy. Classical might be more comforting than hard rock. Okay. Here's three o'clock. At 3 p.m., the song plays the same song every day at the same time because Charlie Sparks puts the CD in at 2.30 when Sammy arrives. Sammy's never late because Sammy sticks to a schedule, a routine. 30 minutes later, this man arrives. A delivery man every single with a time. routine all of his own. We need to figure out who that is because he's our inside. They took his kids already, I'm pretty sure. Morgan, he's not here. I know, Hawks, we got him. Wait, what? Oh, he's on the boat. He's still on the boat. Bill Thomas, this is the FBI. Give yourself up, your boat is surrounded. We don't want anyone else to get hurt, Bill. Couldn't you sell the boat for something? Turn yourself in. I had an alley, a dream, not a big one, it was my dream, put food on the table, I had a family, they loved me. It was my dream. I do it myself. They won't get my life insurance policy. Just do it. No. <laughs> I'm not like you. I know the difference between right and wrong. You will, damn it. You will do it. Look at all I take away from you. Charlie, he gone. He ain't never coming back. Charlie's not gonna read to you in bed. He told me he did that, did he? <laughs> He's not gonna kiss you. Stop. You're never gonna feel his touch again. You're gonna grow old alone, Allie. Alone. Your dream's over. Sad. Flip that and catch it without looking. That was impressive. <laughs> Love that. I like her. I wish she could, like, you know, be here with all the others that were are gone now. <laughs>
watching me. What's the expression? Keep your friends close, your enemies on surveillance. That's him. Been here for two hours. You should know better than to keep a lady waiting. Seems hypocritical. Seems as I have to wait seven years. What do you want? You. Oh, not today. Don't worry about that. But soon. I've got a Glock leveled at your crotch. What's to stop me from taking you and the little ones out right now? You'll never make it back to your car, you know? Tell me, does the lovely Penelope know the truth about you? Or is she too busy watching movies with Derek to care? Here you are, all alone. Oh, now it's Derek personal. Is at home with his son. And why didn't Dave and Ashley invite you to their game night? Maybe they thought you'd be on the Metro. Come near my team, and I will end you. I don't have a quarrel with them. No, he pissed me off now. How long that remains the case depends entirely on you. You took the only thing that mattered to me. So I'm going to take the only thing that matters to you. Your life. Honoré de Balzac once said, most people of action are inclined to fatalism, and most of thought believe in providence. Which do you think you're going to be? He done piss me off now. I'm going to be quick with this because I have one to two more episodes I would like to watch before uh, the end of today. So let's dive into sentencing. I can get him three to eight years on kidnapping. Two charges. That's six years. Murder, I can get him 10 to 15. So, I mean, you add that, that's... 16, if he lives, obviously. Uh, robbery, I can get him 6 to 5. Or 6, or 3 to 6. Jesus, I mean, it's a, I read the opposite number and then I read the first number first. Then, whatever. Um, false imprisonment, I think I can get him on that. 3 to 5 years. Uh, twice, so you're adding 6 to that equation. You're looking at 25 years. Uh, if he was to survive this, at least. Um, honestly, I think this is one of the lower sentences that I've ever given out, but yeah. So he's an opportunity of getting out, uh, which is, which is a good little, what are you doing? Hello. Hi. What's, what's up? It's nice to see you. Yeah. Great episode. Um, that, that boy... Great episode. Um, yeah. Like video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see y'all.